We didn't do conventional on this channel. George Cortez, professional fanboy bound. Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Jorge Cortez. And this is the DIY Fandom Talk Show. The show where I show you how to make stuff related to fandom and I try to make it laugh, even though I usually fail at the process. Today, we have a Valentine's Day episode and we're going to make some cards. But not just any old boring Valentine's Day card, but some creepy AF cards. Because nothing says I love you like a creepy clown and a monster from another dimension. Okay, let's start with the easy card. Check the video description for all the materials you'll need for both cards. And if you check the materials, I promise we're not going to cook. I promise, girl. Start by downloading and printing the template that I'm going to leave you in the description of the video. The templates are two images that you're going to print from both sides onto cardstock. And it's important that you print it on cardstock because after all, it's a card and you don't want a flimsy card. There are different formats to this card and I also leave you the PSD file so you can modify however you want. For example, for this card, you you can edit the text or even the availability of the balloon. Score the middle of the card with your X-Acto knife. Scoring means passing the X-Acto knife slightly on your line so for the further step we'll have a very nice and clean fold. Once you score, fold it in half and you have a super beautiful fold. The card is almost ready actually. If you choose to use the file with the balloon in it, you don't have to do the rest of the step. But we're going to give some extra to this card because we're extra. Not really, but I like go the extra mile. So I guess that makes me extra. By the way, the white square that it's on the inside of the card is so you can write a message in it. This part is where the X comes in hand. Take the packaging plastic that can be from any sort of packaging plastic. Just make sure it's not too thin or too thick and place it a few inches above your lit candle. What we are doing is softening the plastic so we can press it against the egg and this is going to form a mold to simulate a balloon. Put the egg on top of a soda bottle cap so it will stay firm. One once the plastic is softened, press the plastic on top of the egg to form your mold. My mold did not turn as steep as I would have expected, but it still turned just fine. By the way, the, cr the creation of the mold might take a couple tries, so just try your best until you finally have a result that you like. Cut around the shape that we created. We're going to take the shape and place it onto the iron on medium heat setting, and we're going to put the figure against the iron just enough so the edges will melt towards the outside. It can happen to you that the edges will melt towards the inside, and that can work as well. Now, trace this piece onto plastic and cut it out. You should have this piece and set them aside from now. Our balloon is going to be filled with blood. Fake blood, that is. I mean, if you want to use your real blood, I mean, I guess you can. I don't judge you, but... Take a tablespoon of syrup. I'm using plain old maple syrup, but you can use corn syrup if you want. Add a drop of red food coloring and a small tablespoon of cocoa powder and mix it thoroughly. Pour the fake blood inside the vessel that we created, making sure not to touch the edges. Add a waterproof glue on the edges and top it up with a lid that we cut and let it aside to dry. I actually ended up using crazy glue, so don't use Gorilla Glue because I had to fix this problem off camera. Once it's dry, we just need to glue the balloon to the part of the car that has the balloons and boom make sure to use clear glue to stick the balloons since it's clear and I just write a small note on the inside and just like that you have a very cute but creepy Valentine's Day card I just I, I really like how it turned out moving on to the upside down for the second card start by downloading the template that I'm going to leave you again in the video description and print it out and once it's printed out just cut it out trace the shape onto beige foam and cut it out Next, trace a shape onto red foam and cut it out as well. And next, take some centimeters of the shape so it can fit on the beige foam with a border. Glue the red foam sheet on top and in the middle of the beige piece. Trace these parts on the piece onto the black piece and connect the dots to form a kind of circle that will fit on the middle of the Demogorgon and this will act as a mouth. Cut inside the lines to make sure it'll fit in place and glue that as well. With your pinking shear, cut the top of your white foam sheet and then start cutting teeth pieces. With your scissors, cut down the lines like so to form a lot of teeth. If you do not have pinking shear, you can just freehand it. It's not like a Demogorgon went to the dentist to get their teeth perfectly symmetrical. And start gluing the teeth randomly throughout the red foam. Now with a pen, I recommend a pen with no ink, start giving the card details. You can check online pictures for references, but I haven't 
have a Funko Pop of the Demogorgon and I think this is a perfect 3D reference. And I know that this might trigger a couple of Funko fans. I am a Funko fan, but it's my Funko and I can do whatever the heck I want. Just kidding. But yeah, it's my Funko and I can do whatever the heck I want. Take a paintbrush and dry brush some black paint onto the back and in the inside of the car to make it look dirty. I put way too much paint, but this baby wipe came to the rescue and fixed everything nicely. Now the card is nearly finished. Write whatever image that you want on the inside. I went for I'll share my egos with you. I first tried to write it with a paint pen that was lacking of paint. So I wrote it with puffy paint off camera. And now we are done! The awesome thing is that it's a 3D car and that it can even fit small gifts inside. And to close it, just use a piece of tape to hold all the tabs in place. So when your low one opens it, they get scared! <laughs> and you are done with your scary cards. And that's it for the video guys, I hope you like it, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are you know I love you, don't forget to slap that notification bell that is right there next to the subscription button so you'll never miss any of my future videos. Don't forget to follow me in Noma's social media that as always are sprinkled down below in the video description and make sure to like my Facebook page and don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram because I'm constantly posting promo for my videos in case you miss them. I also have new videos up on my crafting channel that I'm going to link right there or there. I don't remember which part is so you can check them out. If you make any of my DIYs, whether they are fandom related or not, you can always tag me on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag on Broken Creations so I can browse your pictures and I can comment them. If you have any ideas for a future video, you can always request them in the comment section down below. And that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!